welcome to my home. Today we are gonna to make the French classic crusty baguette. Who doesn't love a baguette? You have friends coming over, you go grab some wine, some baguettes, some cheese, and the night is made, honestly. Baguettes are so easy to make, you can make it at home, and it's gonna be so nutty and crusty and delicious. This is such a simple recipe, there is no kneading. Four simple ingredients, let's get started. For this recipe, you're gonna need 700 grams of flour. Today, I am using all-purpose flour because I ran out of bread flour, but bread flour would be best. But uh, all-purpose flour is equally delicious, so we're gonna uh, measure it out. If you don't have a scale, it's about five cups of flour. But if you do have a scale, use it. So 700 uh, grams of flour. All right, so once you have 700 grams of flour, you're just gonna dump that into a bowl. Now, if you don't have a scale to measure your flour, fill your flour to the top and scrape off the excess and measure five cups. It'll be approximately the same. All right, to that we're gonna add half a teaspoon of active dry yeast and one teaspoon of salt. Just table salt is fine. All right, give that a bit of a stir. Now we're gonna add two cups of water. It can be cool water, it can be warm water, it's up to you. It doesn't make a big difference for this recipe. Just two nice full cups. Perfect. Now just give that a stir. Now we're gonna cover it. All right, so cover it nice and tight with plastic wrap and put it in a nice warm place for 45 minutes. Perfect. So here's my secret spot for my bread dough. The heater is right underneath and it just keeps it nice and warm. It rises super well. If you hear clunking, it's my husband on the roof taking the snow and ice off. So I've got to keep an ear out to make sure there's no hollering, but so far so good. Taking a break. There's a lot of snow. It's been 45 minutes. We're gonna remove the plastic. I'm gonna wet my hands. We're not gonna use any flour for this. And I'm gonna do a series of four folds in each direction. So I pull, 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 fold it over, turn, pull it again, fold it over. Same thing each direction. Now the dough is not very smooth at this point, but you'll see with each 45 minutes, it's gonna get smoother and smoother. That's it, so we're gonna cover it up. Another 45 minutes in a warm spot, and that's it. Perfect. All right, so it has almost doubled in size. I'm gonna wet my hands again. Give it another fold. I can already feel it's a lot smoother, a lot more elastic. If it's sticky, just add a little more water to your hands. Now, it's so much silkier than before. So that's it, let's cover it one last time. So that was the last 45 minutes. So it's doubled in size, it looks great. All right, so next we're gonna flour our surface generously. We're gonna dump our dough. All right, and then we're gonna flour it generously. And we're gonna cut it in four. All right, make sure it's all floured up. Try to cut four even pieces. These will be our baguettes, four baguettes. All right, so the process is, you're gonna take your fingers and you're gonna poke it down. You're gonna fold it over, fold it again, fold it again, and fold it again. All right? And flour your spot where you're gonna put them and just put them there like that, all right? Super simple, you're just 
pushing down. You have nice little air bubbles. If it's sticky, just add some more flour. Push it down, you're gonna fold it. So each end is being folded. Turn, fold, turn, fold, all right? Doesn't matter if it doesn't stick, it'll, it'll end up sticking. All right, and put it beside the other one. Next, same thing. Last one. Fold over, fold over, over, and over. Turn it over, shove it all underneath, and that's it. We're gonna wait 20 minutes. We're just gonna cover it up with some, with the same topping that you used, just loosely, just like that, just so not too much air goes into it. Same thing with this. If you want, you can add a dish towel over it, just like that, and come back in 20 minutes. Meanwhile, in the bottom rack of the stove, fill an oven-proof dish with boiling water. This will add moisture to your oven. All right, next we're gonna put our stove to 400 degrees. All right, so it's been 20 minutes. We will take our little bundles of joy. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pound them down. Take some flour. All right, and we're going to roll them up, all right? And then I'm, I usually take my knuckles and I just put my knuckles across to close the seam. That's it, so the seam is closed. And then we're gonna open our hands and roll them out, like that. All right, so that's it. There's one, we're gonna let that rise. Next. Same thing, add a little flour, punch it down, and then roll it up. Use your knuckles, and then roll it out. You're popping the bubbles as you go. The dough is so smooth and silky full of bubbles. You can hear them popping. All right. All right, so one last rise, 20 minutes, and we're ready to pop them in the oven. All right, so your baguettes are ready. Perfect. We're gonna flour them once again. Bring it over onto your sheet, your cookie sheet, very gently, all right, and a spray bottle. You'll need a spray bottle for this. So give it a nice little spray, and then take a sharp knife and do three nice long cuts. Perfect. Once you spray it once, it's a little easier to cut. Perfect, beautiful. Give it one more good squirt. This is gonna get it really nice and crispy. And pop it in the oven for eight minutes. If you wanna put a little extra steam into your oven, spray it in and there you have it. So we'll put the timer for eight minutes. Perfect. The first eight minutes has gone by. What we're gonna do is we're going to Turn it around, and we're gonna give it a little bit more water. So, be very generous. This is gonna make the difference between a really nice, crispy baguette. Perfect. Close that in there and add it another eight minutes. Ooh, they look beautiful, they smell delicious. These baguettes have such a nice, mellow, nutty flavor. The smell in here is so good. You are gonna fall in love with this crispy, rustic French baguette. Crunchy on the outside, chewy on the inside with a mellow, nutty flavor. 
This will be your go-to bread with soups and stews. Just perfect. Give it a try. Let me know your thoughts on it. And don't forget to subscribe so we can see each other next Wednesday. Cheers.